Other than setting up our own tanks, looking at our own tanks and maintaining our own tanks, what else do we like to do? We'll look at other people's tanks, of course. Right, first of all guys, let me just say, overwhelmed, because tons of you are getting involved, loads of you are joining the Reddit, posting, everyone's interacting, upvoting stuff that they like to see. Make sure you guys give comments and stuff to people asking questions as well. I mean, I'll chime in, don't get me wrong, but quite a lot of you know more than me. So yeah, help everyone out. I think it's a really good community vibe we've got going on so far. Anyway, let's scroll down and have a look. First of all then, top not today let's go like this week and have a look at the top videos or images that we've had this week i've, I've already had a few looks at this as it's been going on and i have to say like it's amazing the stuff's amazing you guys unbelievable okay so top 48 upvotes from rattan furlong some of these names are brilliant <laughs> rattan furlong <laughs> what, what even is that from what i've read rattan furlong has got like a cheap light on this as well it's really close to the water line because water level sorry because it's just sat really perfectly on the surface but as a result look at the reds we're getting from that rotala hr absolutely insane and oh what's that plant oh that's a pogostamon stella rudder and then we've got a mix of what looks to me like monte carlo or glosso in the foreground with some other bits and bobs Nice, just little free, free rock arrangement there. Nothing complicated at all, but that is absolutely fantastic. Great job, nice and simple. A little bit of a newbies in the middle, and it looks like a white cloud. Just a, no, a couple of white clouds. Really stunning, stunning work. Look at the reflections on the top as well. Love that. So, how would I improve that? Uh, <laughs> how can you improve that? <laughs> Maybe some, um, what's it called? Blixer, Blixer Japonica. That would go really well just in that sort of. Uh, right hand pocket shaded area. I think that looked quite good there. Like the, the, the sproutiness of that plant look amazing. I've never kept that that plant, but I really want to. And I think Tropica is starting to um, stock it as well. So I will be getting that soon. Maybe that can go in my big Asian tank that you, can, that you can't see that's behind the camera right now. <laughs> okay, next one. 44 up, upvotes. Hope he sees this. I guess over he. <laughs> oh, look at these. What is this? Looks like a big camcorder on top. But no, look, we've got a hang in the back filter, some fans. I guess this person lives in a warm climate. Looks like a twin star light. And look at that. Really, really clean look there. Nice low trim. We've got CO2. It's got everything going on this one, guys. It's a really nice setup. Cute little bits of Ricky at the side there. Never put that in your tank. <laughs> in one of my tanks I've got over there, it's, it's got Rickier in it. I've never had Rickier in any tank in this room. It's still in there. How is that even possible? Anyway, so yeah, really good. Look at that uh, Ludwigia, super red in the middle there, looking fantastic. And then, I don't even know what this plant is at the side here. Anyway, but yeah, really good. Oh, someone commented last time that my mouse pointer jutting around the place was annoying them. I'm sorry about that. That's just, that's just how it records. Maybe I could record a different refresh rate next time or later. I don't know. Three months old jungle tank. Here we go. 43 upvotes. Oh, the top, that one we just did was by Omar. There we go. It's pretty normal. Um, but this one is by Pulsen Husel. Pulsen Husel. Maybe German. I don't know. Uh, Pilsen. I can't read. It says Pilsen. <laughs> anyway, look at this. Really cool look. Look at that. I mean, so cool. Should I just come out a little bit? Yeah, look at that. Three month old tank. So cool. I'm loving everything in that one. Like this, like light just peeking through the bottom there's obviously two bits of wood that are joined together there um and then because it's unlikely that's one piece so if you get that depth you've obviously got to put one in the foreground and one behind it and then that creates your depth and then you've got small plants for details that obviously taken a while to sort of grow in on there looking really good though i love that look it looks like uh, something from a film like lord of the rings or something i guess great work great work and this is number four Look at that. That is so cool. Really, really jungle. Look, who is this? Sorry, it's Amy's. Amy Smudge. Well done, Amy. Absolutely insane. 
so vibrant everything's so healthy look cherries there we've got as well looks like a pregnant female guppy oh yeah there's baby guppies everywhere hang on it's a guppy jungle so the tank is looking fantastic and what i really love about what amy's done here is just let it sort of go wild and do its thing but it still looks kind of organized in its own way it's hard to explain obviously you've still got your foreground plants and then you've got your background plants but they've just all sort of merged a nice little hint of red there as well what would i do to improve this tank um a little bit of a general tidy up if that's what you're into but i don't think amy is i don't think i am either i think that looks great like the only reason i'd want to do a trim is for a replant because if we can replant we can get some more dense areas i think that would improve the look a little bit denser but um the wildness i love completely i think the wildness is great really good effort amy and then the final one guys tank number five my first planted tank 120 liter co2 with vi dosing i mean you talk about jumping in the deep end for your first tank but you know look, we can all see the results look at how great that is, is that a parrot you got a blood parrot in there he's only a baby at the moment by the looks of things but um yeah he's probably gonna just oh, there's the blix we we're talking about yeah that blood parrot's probably gonna destroy all of that at some point or maybe he won't maybe he'll grow up with it like people are always saying the goldfish you can see behind me are going to destroy my planet tanks they never do so you know make of it what you will and ember the big one you can see there is actually from a tank with no plants and then came came into my plant of tanks and was absolutely fine with it so maybe that blood parrot would be cool hey that would be a cool one wouldn't it what about if i do a big tank with like blood parrots and fully planted i love blood parrots they get a bad press don't they but you know i suppose humans messing with things in nature is always going to be a little bit frowned upon but then sometimes it's for the better or not better but it's not bad if you ask me like the flower horn the flower horn's not like something you'll find ever it's just a result of like our selective breeding but they are just amazing fish and yes i do want one but you have to dedicate a whole tank to a flower horn with nothing else going on in it and for me i love creating environments so i'm not sure how you know great that would be so yeah the tank's looking really really nice we've got a full dwarf hair grass carpet going on so you can tell that this tank's pretty mature uh, the blix of japonica has got those red tints to it which shows that we've got some nice high powerful lighting going on there now high powerful lighting and no algae means you've got a really good balance and that's obviously what this tank's got it's got some really nice ludwigia at the top no that's not the is that yeah that is ludwigia just growing at the top there looking really really good what would i do to improve this tank though okay so it looks fantastic but i think if you were to trim the stems and replant the, the trimmings i think you'd get a really really compact dense professional dare i say look at the back that's if you like that look again it, it depends what you're into i think it looks cool as it is to be honest but can't keep saying that but then it obviously is good it's hard to, to explain what you can improve on these tanks because the top five i mean they're all amazing so well done to you guys well done to the top five and well done to the community for upvoting commenting and getting involved because that's what it's all about and that is a really good job Okay, let's scroll down and look at some of the other fish tanks as well my 25 gallon before rescape three months ago this is golden cuddles yeah that's awesome look at that looks like we've got hygrophila at the side here it's a ludwigia and an anth uh, alternant from reckon ar <laughs> that's a really great scape i like that really open on one side and um and really dense planting on, on this side on the left the thing is though, I tried to do this once in one of my scapes and my mum and my, I don't live with my mum, my mum lives with me, I look after her, <laughs> it'd be pretty sad. Anyway, my wife and my mum both said, oh it looks like you've forgotten to do one side and I was like, no, oh, it's not how it works. But then that's the thing, All, anyone else who comes in is going to be like, you've forgotten to do half of the tank which we know is not the case they don't again this is why i think in your viewing area if you're worried what people think that is you should scape a tank a certain way but if you've got like it if you're doing an, in an area for yourself like this one looks to be then you can scape it however you want like you know i can't really get away with doing um tinted water in the house because the wife thinks it looks like tea bags <laughs> i suppose she's right um but you know i can do that in the studio here which is what i want to do at some point as well move down zoom one month update of the tetra 
Turtle Tank. I read those backwards, that's fine. Java Moss, Java Fern, Amazon Sword, Valisneria, Spiralis. I really like this and it's, it's weird because I think I commented in this post actually. This aquarium, the way you've set it up like this is very similar to something I want to go for for my turtle tank as well. A bit more dense and a few more sort of rocky outcrops, but that's what I want to do for my setup for Timmy, which is going to be coming soon, guys. But I've got lots of other stuff going on at the moment, um, build wise, that is, not in my other parts of my life. There is no other parts of my life, it's all about the fish tanks, it's all about the YouTube channel. But yeah, I want to do something like this, which will look absolutely brilliant, I think. But lots more plants coming up the top as well, so I have like that, what you've got there, but a whole like immersed area as well. How good is that going to look? Got to be careful though, because Timmy will trample it. But Timmy is still tiny. He's like the slowest growing turtle ever, and I feed him daily, like daily. He loves his food, bless him. <sighs> Moving on. Okay, my new 190 corner scape. I did the other day. I did try and do a video, but it won't let me load it. PS, ignore the rock on top. It's holding the wood down yet. We've all been there. <laughs> Uh, until it sinks on its own. What do you think I could improve on? Let's have a look. Ah, okay, okay. Corner scapes. Now, corner scapes are really hard to scape. I imagine I've not actually done it myself, but you can you can see how you've got problems because everything comes out at that already triangular angle. So you're going to be tempted to do what uh, Crazy Fish Lady's done here and ang follow that angle of the tank. Well, that probably could work well for an island. But currently what you've done here is you've, it kind of looks like just a pile of stuff's been thrown in. Like, I'm, I don't mean to be offensive in that, but there's no real sort of structure to what's going on. Like the wood's laying at a, a horizontal angle. Uh, some of the rocks are horizontal, then others are coming up in diagonals and it is a bit of a mishmash. Plant-wise, that's fine what you've done there. I think that's quite good. You've got your tall stuff at the back, moss at the front, and you've got some Monte Carlo down there looking like it wants to spread. I think we could arrange these rocks in a different way and, and the wood in a different way, create more of a, a, a very obvious sort of island composition and then you could have a couple of rocks in front of that coming out at separate angles just to break up that sort of structure if you like. Uh, and then your, your wood can be in the middle. If you have a look at my island scape I did in my cube aquarium back in the old studio, uh, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Make a deliberate island in, in, a, in a corner tank I think will work well just because it's similar to a cube aquarium in that it's very sort of symmetrical. Uh, I think that's I think that would really really improve your scape here just by getting some kind of structure as opposed to what you've currently got. Okay, up next, six Emma Tetras added to my five gallon. Already had five shrimp and a neurite snail in there. Build now complete. Not adding anything else. Killer Scotsman. <laughs> okay, press play. And there it is. Oh, look at that. That's really nice. I like that. Really really good. And you've got oh. There. We've got uh, Limnophila, it looks like. Oh no, some other Petonia, is that Hatonia? I'm not sure. Anyway, I really like what you've done there. I really like the brown soil, actually. And what's some random blobs? What are those blobs? I don't know what those blobs are. They're just, just cool blobs. You just wanted blobs. You just want blobs in your tank. You just put some blobs in your tank. I mean, you can do that if you want. You, you like blobs. Probably some sort of water cleaner or something. You know? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so we've got some really nice Blue Dream shrimp there. They're looking gorgeous. We've got the hair grass, which looks to be settling in very well and growing in. What would I do to improve this? Okay, I really like what you've done. I love the composition. I just think that that log needs a little bit more angle. Just a little bit up in this area here to the right. Put a rock underneath it a little bit or something and just, just slightly raise it up over in this area. And I think that would just it'd give it a better effect. Uh, you could even sort of turn it slightly facing towards the front of the tank and then just lift it. It would give a really good depth sort of sense. You know, it'll trick, it's a bit, bit of a trick on the eyes. It'll make it seem like the tank's going further back and just lift it off the ground like that. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just so that it's not perfectly parallel with the soil at the bottom. And I think that will massively improve the look. But you're right. I don't think you should do anything else to it other than that. I think it looks fantastic. Eventually, you could fill in that gap behind as well where you've got the, uh, the filter sitting with some of those stem plants. Put your trimmings in that area, I would as well. And then, it, or maybe a red, something red, some Ludwig or something like that in the area. And just cover up that filter as best you can. Get that angle going on that, on that piece of wood. And by that point, you know, you, your, your hair grass is gonna sort of spread and grow right in as well. It looks really good and that's a great job as well. Upvote, I've not been upvoting, sorry. I've been paying too much attention to the actual tanks. <laughs> Right, up next we've got from Fish-R, Fish-R, we've got my mini 0.9 litre, we'll call it a litre, yeah? <laughs> Planted jar aquarium, two weeks old, just six inches tall, what do you think? 
Right, okay, it's cool. I love it. I love that you're doing a little jar. I should do a little jar again, shouldn't I? I did enjoy all those builds. I don't keep them for very long because, like, before, in that tiny studio where I did them, in, in the one next door, I didn't have very much space because I packed it out with tanks, as you well know. But now I've got more space to put things like that. I might do, like, a nice little jar at some point soon. Let me know if you'd like to see that. A little tip for you, though, when photographing. Like, look at this one here. Basically, it's massively overexposed because the camera doesn't know what to do, what, what light levels to focus on. So if you just click on the screen where the lightest point is, it tends to balance out the photo for you quite nicely. And don't be scared to adjust the slider as well, just get that perfect sort of mid-ground. You don't want your whites too white and you don't want your darks too dark. Somewhere in the middle would be perfect. But yeah, I like what you've done there. I don't, I don't know, what plant is that? Not sure what plant that is is it from seed is it growing from seed possibly either way it's cool like nice little idea tiny little jar let's do something like that i'll, I'll do one of those in, in coming up i'll do like a completely silent film like i used to do with just like some nice music and just putting something together just a nice little short one yeah that'll be good mix it up a bit why not but what would i do to improve this aquarium what, uh, that didn't come out right at all what would i do to improve this i'm struggling again what would i do to improve this aquarium there we go Right, so just keep on top of the maintenance as you probably well are doing. Um, I don't know how recently you flooded it, but you know, I think this little area at the front here would do, do with just, could do with just a little tuft of hair grass. I think that'd look really nice in that area, or Monte Carlo, something like that. A proper really vivid green in that foreground, just in that little area there. It is missing something, isn't it? I mean, maybe you're hoping for your uh, plant. Again, I don't know what that plant is. Is that Lobelis cardinalis, but like the shoot, the shoots that are coming off maybe? two weeks old okay so probably not nothing's going to grow that quick is it but yeah i think this bottom area here we could get some nice little tufts of hair graft just buy one of the pots from tropical one two grow range i'd suggest and get those plugged in there and i think that'll look really 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 good i don't want to see any of that aqua soil don't don't put any then get the aqua soil gone like you shouldn't see aqua soil it's, it's weird isn't it we it's, it costs a lot of money you put it in the tank shouldn't see it should be covered in plants Oh, wait, wait, wait. If we scroll down, there's a video as well. Well done. Well done for posting videos. I should have checked for that first, but I just assumed there wouldn't be one if there was a photo. But yeah, here we go. Here's the video then. It'd help if I go back to the start, wouldn't it? And, and let's go back to the start. There we go. Look at that top. Nice and green and lush. Looks like you're using a nice little white LED there. So good job. Uh, yeah, we definitely need something in this foreground, don't we? We need some greenery in there or maybe some sand next time you do that. Maybe some nice white sand on the top. I think that'll look quite cool. Uh, this 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 I really like this plant. I don't know what it is though. It's got to be the lobelia, isn't it? Surely. Good job though. Real good job. Right. So this next one's an interesting one. They're asking me for advice on cycling tanks. I never ever cycle tanks. Like I don't know many planted people. I don't actually know many planted tank people that do. Even George Farmer said once in in one of his videos that he doesn't do it either. Or it could have been a live stream. What I tend to do and what lots of other people plant the tanks tend to do is just put so many plants in there and do so many water changes that you're kind of cycling the tank as soon as you've set it up. You just don't stock it out with a ton of fish. Just put a few fish in, you know, a nice little school and just get that water changes going and loads of plants in there. You can't actually, you know, the water quality can't go bad. So this person here, GFBTB, catchy, catchy name, uh, I've set it up a carried in the tank. Tank is still cycling, but I'm looking to produce high nitrates. I'm using RO water and ended up with 40 ppm nitrates API test kit. Now look, first of all, well, there's not many plants, is there? So, I mean, first thing I'd say is pack it out with more plants, but then I'm going to say that about anything, aren't I? You've got your floating plants in there, which is good. Maybe add some, add some more in if you can get hold of them. Just, just more plants in general, more plants and more water changes. I don't, I don't really do the cycling thing. I never cycled a tank in my life. I don't know if that's okay, or you know, if you guys would be annoyed with that. But I imagine most of you got in this video this far actually like me and like my stuff, so you're gonna be okay with that. Like, look behind me. Look at these tanks. I very rarely get fish that die. Although I did have a, a ram that I found that wasn't alive today, which is the first fish I've had not alive in a long time. No other signs. It's in the freshwater reef chrome. No other fish are bad at all. So a bit of a weird one, but I, you know, as Rachel O'Leary said, we all lose fish. So sometimes they go like that. I've got no idea why. The rest of the tank completely fine. So that sometimes happens. Anyway, that's beside the point. All these tanks in here, like. I never cycled a single one of them and everything is going great and that's probably down to the fact of tons of plants 
and regular water changes, which I always do to start with. When I start a tank, I do lots of regular water changes. It's only as we progress and the tank matures that I just do way, way less. So for instance, this big tank behind me here, four foot aquarium, angelfish aquarium, this tank gets about a 30 to 40% water change every two weeks. Like, you know, I could probably go longer without that, but I just find that it really freshens up the tank by doing that. You can't really notice the difference in the effectiveness of a water change until after you've done it. Because when you're looking at it beforehand, you're thinking, oh, it looks good, it nothing looks bad at all. And then you put that fresh water in and all the plants sort of, they, they can tell. They're like, it's, it's like they go, ah. <sighs> okay, and we've got time for one more here little here little update <laughs> aquatoms here little update on my no filter no first bowl now the water's cleared inspired by md fish tanks or md fish whoever he is let me know what you think of it people okay this is a nice little video look we've got some guppies in there looking brilliant a near right snail as well it's a nice um, dwarf hair glass at the front right so basically this is a great little tank you can see it's kind of inspired by me it's, it's all the plants i use and all the plants you could probably buy at your local pets at home if you're from the uk as well because they tend to have the same ones in most stores what would I do to improve this though? I tell you what, this hygrophila that you've got here, I think the Siamens is 53B. Um, that I would take out. Not to take away, I just put those in the background more because being in the foreground, it's a big old plant that, isn't it? And, it, and you're covering a lot of the viewing up, I think. Um, it's only gonna get bigger and bigger as well. So either cut it back, I would, or put, pull it out really gently. Uh, yeah, don't do that, snip it at the base <laughs> and plant it plant it to the back. And I think, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna keep that open look that you've got for the bowl, which will be much better as time goes by. Because what I've found with bowls is so quickly they become massively overgrown. So yeah, just keep on top of that. And I just watch that plant in the foreground. I just think that's a little bit of a too big plant for the foreground. It does give it a nice cool jungle look though. So if you do like that, then you know, cool, stick with it. But remember that that plant will grow anywhere. So I like to keep the foregrounds nice and open in the bowl. It just makes it look like there's even more space in there than there actually is. And it gives an area for the fish to swim into the open if they want and then the cover. I mean, they have got that, don't get me wrong, but like I say, very quickly, that Siamensis 53B is gonna just go everywhere. It'll be growing out the top of the tank before you know it. As usual, guys, another absolutely brilliant performance to you guys. Well done, everyone who got into the Reddit. Sorry if I missed you. Obviously, I can't do every one. It's a 22 minutes long video already, probably longer than that by the time I've spoken about this outro. Uh, but yeah, thank you all. Again, hit the hit the link below in the description to go to the reddit join up get comment in post your stuff you know if you get enough upvotes you will definitely appear now in the videos to start as well yeah so yeah congratulations to our upvoters top up voters from last week really great job guys and keep everything coming in and i will see you guys on the next one